Hi there. Welcome to Movie Review Mom. I'm the mom and I do the movie reviews. And my goal is to help you decide whether or not you want to spend time or money or both watching a specific movie. I'll give you the inside scoop on filmmaking quality and content. So today, the movie I'm reviewing is called The Banshees of Inisherin. Interesting name, right? This dark comedy is now available on HBO Max and is rated R. It's an hour and 54 minutes. And my movie review mom grade is an A. Now, let me explain why. I'll give you an overview in a nutshell, and then I'll point out things I liked and didn't like, as well as offer tips for parents, themes worth talking about, interesting lines, and recommendations for other films that are sort of similar that you might also like if you like this one. All right, ready? In a nutshell, this movie was both written and directed by Martin McDonough. Already, it has been nominated for Golden Globe and garnered Oscar buzz. When it premiered at the 2022 Venice International Film Festival, it received a 15-minute standing ovation. In other words, people are loving this. Or I should say, film critics are loving this movie. Others, some yes, some no. I'll get to that in just a minute. So the story is set on a remote island off of the west coast of Ireland and follows lifelong friends, Patrick, who's played by Colin Farrell, and Colm, who's played by Brendan Gleeson. Uh, anyway, they find themselves at an impasse when Colm unexpectedly puts an end to their friendship. A stunned Patrick aided by his sister Siobhan, who's played by Carrie Condon, and troubled young Islander Dominic, who's played by Barry Kagan, endeavors to repair the relationship, refusing to take no for an answer. But Patrick's repeated efforts only strengthen his former friend's resolve, and when Colin delivers a desperate ultimatum, events swiftly escalate with shocking consequences. All right, so some people are even calling this a comedy slash horror for some of the things that are seen. But again, I'll give you some tips for parents here in just a minute about what to expect. But first, the list of things that I really liked. The talented cast is absolutely fantastic and knocks it out of the park. You'll see great performances by all, but especially by Colin Farrell, Brendan Gleeson, Carrie Condon, and Barry Keegan. Now, all four of them are actually from Ireland in real life. Director Martin McDonough must really love pairing Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson together because they worked together in a movie called In Bruges or In Bruges in 2008. I actually liked both of their performances better in this movie. We get to travel to a small island off of the coast of Ireland and see some beautiful countryside and cinematography. Those cliffs are gorgeous, but I would never get that close to the edge of the cliff, the drop off like some of the characters do. I was just like, ah, is somebody gonna fall off the cliff? <laughs> One of the Irish traditions that I absolutely love is how they play music in the pub. They just gather and spontaneously start playing. In this one, we actually see some musicians, but also a teacher who's gathering students and they practice their tunes. Now, going to Ireland has always been on my bucket list and we are finally going to go next year in 2023. Super, super excited. We were gonna go during the pandemic, Everything was shut down, obviously, so our plans got canceled. But it's not just going to Ireland that's on my bucket. It is going to a pub and singing songs with drunken Irishmen. Now, I don't drink, but that's obviously what happens there. And it's all in good fun. So I'm just super excited to feel like a local. This is a fascinating blend of both humor balanced with tragedy. Ultimately, it's a very sad, heartbreaking tale, but it's done so well and with some entertaining dialogue. Now, the title gets its name from the word banshee, which is an anglicized word for bean sea or ban sea, which is the Irish word for a woman fairy who foretells the death of a family member or loved one by screaming or wailing. 
Now, Brendan Gleeson's character writes a little song on the violin and says the title is The Banshees of Ina Sharon, the island where they live. And when asked why did he name it that, he said he just likes the alliteration of the sh sound, you know, the Banshees of Ina Sharon. Um, and yet we actually also see a woman, a character who is a banshee, foretell the death of two characters. Fun fact, an old man actually hand knit all of the sweaters that all of the main characters wear. And in fact, he made extras, you know, the backup in case something happened to their regular sweater that they're wearing in the scenes. Now, let me tell you just one thing that I didn't like about this movie, and it is that it's really hard to understand what everyone is saying because of their super thick accents. So this is the movie that is perfect to watch with the captions turned on when you watch this on streaming. Otherwise, you're going to be saying, wait, what What they say? And sometimes it you understand the words, but you don't understand the phrase because it's kind of an Irish phrase or an Irish way of saying something in a way that we Americans just don't say it. But that's part of the fun. You definitely feel immersed in this culture and in this little island and this world that has been created. If I remember the title card at the beginning said it takes place in the 1920s in Ireland. All right, so let me give you some tips for parents. Kids are definitely going to be bored. We hear a lot of Irish profanity including some American or English F-bombs. We hear the word feckin' a million times, and I'm sure that's probably the Irish F-bomb, but it just didn't seem offensive. It just sounded more playful <laughs> for me, I guess. We see several severed and bloody fingers, so that's kind of yucky. We see the after effect of a man who claims that he was beaten up by his father. All right, so some of the themes that are illustrated beautifully and artistically are friendship, companionship, loneliness, being nice, wanting to make an impact on the world, jealousy, alienation, mortality, and ambition. And a few more themes are silence, self-mutilation, and holding a grudge. All right, so I always write down funny lines and interesting lines while I'm watching the movie so that I can share them with you so you can kind of get a taste for the dialogue. And so there are quite a few lines that are funny and sad at the same time, but also interesting. You can see all of them on my written review at moviereviewmom.com. I'll share a few of them with you here right now. So Pedrick Sullivan. I can't remember how they pronounced it in the movie, but that's actually uh, the Gaelic spelling for Patrick Sullivan. Anyway, he says a lot of really funny lines. He has this really cute miniature donkey, and he says, I'd dance with my donkey if she knew how, <laughs> and I believe he really would. Another line is when he says to his friend who used to be his best friend, you used to be nice, or did you never used to be? Okay, and then another line that has to do with his donkey is he's always letting his donkey and the horse and all these animals come into his house. And his sister just gets so frustrated by that. And anyway, he's really sad because his friend basically broke up with him for being best friends. And uh, so this is, sister comes in and sees the donkey and he says, I'm not putting the donkey outside when I'm sad. <laughs> I'm doing a terrible Irish accent, aren't I? I'm not... 100% trying. And then there's a line spoken by Mrs. McCormick, who's played by Sheila Flitton. And she is the banshee of Inisherin, really. I mean, I don't know that that's a spoiler. You could figure that out pretty easily. Uh, but she says something kind of cutting to Patrick's sister. And the sister says, well, that wasn't very nice. And she says, I wasn't trying to be nice. I was trying to be accurate. <laughs> and I think that the relationship with these island uh, Irishmen and Irish women have with each other. It's just so entertaining. All right. So before we go, let me give you two recommendations for movies that are sort of similar, but kind of in different ways. The first one is called The Nice Guys. And it's got some of that playful banter that's got some biting truth to it. And then another one is called The Killing of a Sacred Deer. And it's got some excellent performances. And again, it sort of has that 
uh, humor blended with tragedy and drama. So anyway, check those two out if you haven't seen them already. Thank you so much for spending time with me. When you get a minute, be sure and visit me on Instagram as Movie Review Mom, of course, but also as Trina Boyce. You can learn about my 31 nonfiction books, some of my online courses that I've created for professional development and personal enrichment, and my daily podcast called Daily Inspirational Quote, hosted by Trina Boyce, available on all podcasting platforms. Thank you again so much. Have a fantastic day. I hope that if you watch this, that you do enjoy it. And we'll look to see how many Oscars and Golden Globes and all of the other awards that are coming up in January uh, that it ends up garnering. So good luck to it. Bye for now.